Hey, Asta! If you think you will walk out of here without paying me my money, you're joking, you! Oh, you have made one of the greatest mistakes of your life by referring to me as mere headmaster. I am not to you a mere headmaster. You should give me the accolade that befits me. Give, address me with that dignity that I am worth. I am Professor Irukumbere Madu Diego Wajimba, Pro Vice Chancellor of Mufose Primary Day School and the Executive Instructor for that matter. And an ambassador, plenipotentiary and extraordinary. So you should not address, you address me with dignity, address me with respect. See, see, all this is your speaking. They are gone now. See, since two o'clock, you've been heaving and panting on top of me. After using me like a fufu for three whole hours, all you can see is to give me one hundred naira. You're looking for trouble. Hmm. Look, get your boss off me. Let's reason it out. You complain here that I have been heaving and panting. Now, let me to tell you, heaving and panting is synonymous with stress and strain. It is when you are doing an odious job, a strenuous job, a heavy job, that is when you pant and heave. And that was what I was doing, the odd job. What were you doing? You were shouting. You were in an ecstatic mood. You were shouting. In fact, you were yodeling with the utmost serendipity because of the joy you were deriving. So while I was killing myself, giving, you were enjoying yourself taking and receiving. Who should pay who? Listen it out. In fact, I'm demanding half of the money I give to you for doing the odd job. What did you give me? I hey. gave my milk of honey to you and your For people outside who do not know you. Also, if you in this house, you will speak words that I know and understand. Yes, ma'am. What happened to you? Well, if you must know, I was uh, attacked by some criminally minded individuals in this community who had been bent on trying to destroy the egghead, the people that are on the other higher echelon of this very community. But I showed them, look, let me tell you. Adore, go and thank your stars. In fact, if you have the time, go for Thanksgiving. You are mar you married a virile, strong, eligible man. If not, you would have been singing another tune from the other side of your mouth. Do you know some criminally minded individuals in this community accosted me and they wanted to snatch away my valuables, including my car? I refused. Your car? Yes, my car. <laughs> What's funny? I'm oh, so afraid, I am telling you how I fought this people. I was almost like a flying carpet. Hmm. The very first one, my last jab and the person was assaulted. <laughs> the second one received my kick and tumbled. Hey. The third one was coming behind me. In fact, if, if not for God, that one would have ended up. He would have kicked the pocket. They were bent on my khaki. If I tell you the struggle that I had with them over my car keys, I refused. Thank God. Thank God that your car does not have keys. Is it not why are you using starting this? Keep your salt in there. I do keep your salt in there. I do you remove. How is my sister? Look, eh, she is there giving me all the troubles in the whole world. Sometimes, eh, I wish I married someone like you. Eh? That your sister was sent by the devil to torment me. 
I'm telling you honestly. Nine Joko. All women are the same. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I do not like that. You are a very good wife to your husband. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You treat the professor so well, even though he doesn't deserve you sometimes. So. See, eh, Adure, you make a man's heart skip. Honestly, and I can only imagine what it will be like to lie down on the mat with you on a good night. <laughs> Joko, eh? is something wrong with you? Ah, nothing, Adure, it's just that... You're okay? Come closer now, please. I just have something to tell you. What thing? <clears throat> Adore, you know that ever since we are small, eh, I've always had my eyes on you. Whenever I see you, my palms begin to sweat. And my heart begins to do some assault and some assault inside my chest. <laughs> see, Adore, if I had some education, I would have come for your hand before that uh, useless man you call who says he's your husband who is here distributing himself to all these small small girls with running, running notices around this area eh? I do them I would have come I do them just give me one hour one hour I swear you will pack from your house and come and stay in my house let me show you what a man with iron on his waist can do <laughs> One hour. Hey, one hour. One hour. Bam. That is all you need. And I will never demand anything from you again. I do them. Just one hour. Hey. <laughs> no problem. Ah, that is how a woman should do it. When is it going to happen now? I do them. What are you? What are, what, are, what are you doing now? Here. You said you needed one hour. Hey, hey. I want to give you the one hour here, <laughs> so that the whole village will see us. I do them. Bam. Uh, since you have become a hero, and I am now a dog without shame, that I will sleep with you and go home and sleep with my husband. No, no, no. Pull your trouser. Hey, I do it. I do it. Remove your trouser so that I will see that okra sprout you call an iron. Remove it. Stupid man. Queen Helen of Troy, if I had not been a resident of this community, I would have supposed, I would have woven, I would have torn the cascades of my brain to think that an angel has visited on apparition from the Queen of Coast. Mm. What can I do for you, Angel? Um, my name is Agnes Mkadi. I'm from Delta State. I asked after the headmaster and was directed to this place. Well, that's a wrong introduction. I am not just the headmaster, but I can uh, forgive you your lapses of uh, address. I am, as a matter of fact, Iukumere, Madu Diego Wajimba, Professor Emeritus, Cambridge University. Mm. An ambassador extraordinaire, plenty potential, representing Mufasi community. You're welcome. I'm sorry, sir, for addressing you wrongly, sir. No, 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 it's all right, it's all right. That can go. I am not taking it negatively at heart. I will ignore anything, including the prefixes and the suffixes that go with my name for your own sake. Could you please, if you wouldn't mind, lower this beautifully made bulk down my recliner? <laughs> Thank you, sir. For nothing. For nothing. I see. Oh, you were uh, sent to serve in this community. Yes, sir. I see. That is one of the most and the most interesting and most tantalizing and tickling news I have gotten in recent times. <sighs> to have such an angel to come and exude this your beautiful light around my sword and make everything glitter. It's to my pleasure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Yes. Oh, this is good. I'm going to thank the Education Ministry for doing this good to me. Now, to tell you how much appreciative I am of your coming here, humbly, 
I'm automatically going to elevate you, lift you to the position of an assistant professor to govern and oversee this school. Okay. How about that? Thank you, sir. Yes. But there is another little matter, sir. Yes, what is the little matter? Um, I don't know what accommodation is like in this village. I do not have any place to stay. I was hoping the school could um, help me secure the place. <laughs> so, so no, sorry, sir. Uh, just a little funny that I ate. <laughs> Come, where are these uh, sons of Adam? Come, you! Come and uh, prepare this into activation. Hurry up! Fine, baby, no problem, no wahala. No matter your desire. Hello, my princess. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, how are you? I'm fine, sir. Where are you proceeding to? My mother sent me to go get us some beads. I've told Lolo, Lolo should not be sending our only immaculate, articulately built princess to such errands. Huh? She shouldn't send you on errands now. But if I don't go for her, who else will? Let me tell you, it's not every princess that would like to do such household chores. But you're a nice girl. It's all right. How is your father? He's very well, sir. Please tell him that I wish him well and that I will always wish him well. Thank you, sir. That's all right. Yeah, I will. Okay, Thank you, sir. My, okay, my dear. Who is she, sir? That is the daughter of our Ugo, the princess of this community. She's the only homely and comely girl I see in this community. Uh, oh, yes. I could first say that one. What did you say, sir? No, nothing. <laughs> Don't worry. Yes. She's a fine girl. Oh, she is. Oh, my dear. Yeah, here we are. This may not be a wonderful mansion, but uh, I've been trying to write the government to find me another befitting accommodation for me. But I'm a good citizen, so I'm managing the one they have given to me. No problem. Sir. Okay. Good afternoon, Ma. Um, who is she? Uh, she's one of the new packages. The federal government has done wonders. They packaged her, transported her, rolled her into one to come and help us in our education. Mm. So what is she doing here? What do you mean by what she's doing here? She's going to reside with us until a befitting accommodation is found for her. That is what, what she's doing here. I hope that the government that parceled and packaged her to you also sent money. Because I'm not going to use the penny penny you give me for food to feed another mouth. Don't start your tantrum. Accommodate her first with the smiles. Hey, hey, my dear. I hope there's no other. Is there any other baggage? No, sir. Welcome, my daughter. Thank you, ma. Come. Get your word, you can't kill me, boy. Go. Come down, man. Are, are, are you afraid? Come down. Okay. Huh? Go to the nearest shopping mall. Uh, or market as the case may be. Assemble all the most palatable spices you can lay your hands on. Prepare a very nice dish with very nice fragrance. Now. Uh, uh, Sophie Wajimba, wait. Oh. When you went to school, you did not see me in your class. So can you help and tell me in a language I will understand what you just said? Oh my God. You understood what I said. Go to the market, buy something, cook good food for us. Uh, huh? Is oh. that hard to understand? Oh. Next day. Is it because of that small girl? Is it because of the girl that you gave me this much money for food? What is wrong with you? 
I'll give you money. Go, go and prepare food to date. Okay now. Hey, what? Hey, what? Hey, what? Government be kono. Be sending more girls to us so that my husband will be giving me so much money for food. Eh? If you look around me now, you would notice there is one extra new individual standing amongst us. A dazzling feminine species, obviously doing her national service. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. And that's we should give encomium in our own little way to the education minister. So put your hands together for that. Since the Ministry of Education had deemed it necessary and fit to send somebody here who is knowledgeable in the arts of developing your mental quotient, intelligent quotient, to a level of elites, it needs encomium, it needs encouragement, it needs thanks to the ministry. Be that as it may, they have sent her, that's all right, that's quite all right, but sending her here doesn't mean that the Ministry of Education will do every other thing that is supposed to be done for her welfare. We have to do our own bit. Therefore, her welfare has been landed on our feet. All the things she will need from the waking up in the morning till the termination of our work for the day should be basically our responsibility. Therefore, I am going to levy each and every one of you a meager amount of 50 naira. Make it known to whoever is going to be responsible, your parents or your guardians, that you have to contribute 50 naira each for her upkeep. Okay? I want you to put your hands together for that. Now sing your song and march in. Left, right, left, right. Oh yes, oh yes, it's supposed to be. I object to that, sir. Why? The government pays me salary. Moreover, these students and their parents doesn't have much. So we shouldn't collect the little they have on them. My dear, even in the Bible it is written, do not muscle the mouth of the ox that treaded the corn. A leper deserves his wages. <laughs> Please, please, sir, please, sir. What is your problem, for kingdom's sake? Eh? Please, sir, please. What is your problem? You should set out from school. What else will I do, eh? You know I don't have a husband who is supporting me. I'm doing all on my own, please. So, how does that concern me? This school has rules and regulations, ethics of this profession which must be followed. If you cannot sponsor your ward or your child in school, let the person go. Okay, please, eh? Can you just give me just a little more time? Let me see how I can raise the money, please. No, no, no. There is no time. The school says no time. Today is a final day. So if you cannot pay, I'm afraid I cannot do anything please, about it. Please, sir. Please, please, sir. Uh, there is another alternative, though. Uh, which we heard, master? Uh, if you cannot pay in cash, you can pay in kind. How do you mean? What do you mean? Are you a stranger in Jerusalem? <laughs> what are you talking? Listen, you see, God made you on probably on a Saturday or on a Sunday when he's not having a lot of work to do. 
That's why I gave you all this extra meat on your body. Yeah? You don't know that people around you are hungering for this meat. Allow me to come close. Harness this. Let me come close to the community of your chest, for instance. You understand? So that we can, uh, you will forget about paying her school fees now and forevermore. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly. Okay. <laughs> okay, when? Uh, good, good. You are a very intelligent lady. Uh, there is no point postponing it this afternoon, after school. Uh, uh, yes. Yeah. So with me, you know, at the gate. Thank you, school, love, I'm super okay. professor. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're very intelligent. Human desire, super connector. If I'm gonna be, if I'm gonna be, na boko ra ra. Biko chelo money, lo kana wagufe. Biko chelo money, lo kana. Ewo, Agnes. You could have finished for the day. Yes, ma. Welcome, bro. Thank you, ma. You're not going to do what I think you're going to do. Ah, Ma, I live in this house and I eat here. So if I don't help out in little ways that I can, then my mother did not train me well. <laughs> Just that those hands of yours do not look like something that have done this kind of work before. You look like you come from a wealthy home. Yes, Ma. But I'm here to learn. That is why I'm doing my youth service. It is so that I can discover other parts of the country and learn how other people live. Where is my husband? He said he had a meeting somewhere that he will be back soon. I hope he has not been disturbing you. Ma? I said I hope my husband has not been disturbing you. Ah. No, ma. <laughs> no, ma. You know, you're a beautiful young woman, and every man will look at you like that. Just be careful. I don't want you to make the mistake I made. Being taken in by all the big grammar. If I had known that he had nothing else but grammar inside, I wouldn't have married him. Grammar does not feed anybody. I think he's a good man. If he is, he should allow those little girls who roam the streets of this village to pass him by. The little money he makes from that school, he hands over to them. If he brings it back, we can live better than we do now. So, Saros! What has catapulted you to this vicinity in this hour? Wajimba, you know I do not understand what you say when you start this year Cambridge thing. Is it my fault? It is not my fault that I have been elevated by the Supreme Being to an echelon, eggheads in the society to elevate even the thinking and the brain capacity of the people of this community. So it is not my fault having gone through Cambridge, the four walls of Cambridge, and even above Cambridge itself. So place me on that sacred and sacrilegious echelon where few can gather the dust of knowledge. Now, what I simply mean is, what brought you here? Ah, this time you have come. How about your work? Well, pressure of my work is impregnable. You see, the solidity of my work is such that you cannot penetrate. So what you have to do or settle with is to stay on the periphery, on the flank, and see if you can curb it. By the time you're curbing it, it's is in your attention. And I'll go straight into your job. Listen, when I was in Cambridge... Also, Wajimba, forget when you were in Cambridge. The, this Iroh has been waiting a long time. I do get me a cup of aqua fortis. Water. So now let me come straight and direct. 
What has brought you here? Uh, it's nothing serious. Digwe summoned you to the palace. So, Digwe summoned me for something unserious. Somebody of my caliber and kada. My academic status. Well, why is Igwe summoning me to the palace? It's not in my place to say now. He will tell you when you come. So when does he want me to come? Tomorrow morning. Very urgent too. Tomorrow morning. Mm. All right. Tell Igwe I'll see him tomorrow morning in the palace. Okay. I'll be there tomorrow morning. I have to be going on. I wanted to make sure that I delivered this thing to you directly. I have to be going because there are some other places I want to touch. I am sorry I don't have organic cooler nut to present to you. All I have here is synthesized system that come direct from above or from abroad, as the case may be. In any case, greet your wife for me. Hi. What <laughs> you? What? Oh yes. Hey. <laughs> Thank you very much for the visit. You don't need to move me. I'm already here. Now, you know what I'm saying is that in a note of lesson, there are certain things that we have to do and make it only superlative. Also, of your watching, what? Yeah. Whoever placed this curse on you is very strong. Yeah. Let's go. No, 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 I do it, I do it. Let's go. No, I close to the root of life. And if there's any fracture on my root of life, you know the consequences. I also need that root of life. Let's go. And you should have told me. Let me see if I can photocopy. You see, what I came here to do was to deliver a little lecture so that we can synchronize tomorrow morning in school. You should tell me if you need to do this. Let me see if there's a way we can dissect it. You know, that's then I'll get to expect one for the root, one for the roots. Your Highness. Hi. <laughs> um, we have been worrying over lack of progress in our community. Nothing seems to be happening. We do not have water and light. We want to be like other communities around us. We want to experience the good things that they are enjoying. Mm. Hey. Hmm? Una. Obo na ezoku ka. Ha. Eze iwo ezoku. I'm particularly happy that it is you who is sitting on the throne that is making this expression. It means that you have a head that is reverberating and that a head that can bring out positive thoughts. Igwe, I am so impressed that anything that you ask me to do, I will do it with alacrity. Because this kind of a thing has been breaking my mind. In fact, it has been putting down a point in my level of thinking. As an academia, you know. When you are speaking to us, have that in your mind. 
You know, please. Book that, book that, yeah. Dilute no, it. That's all right. That's all right. Thank you. Okay. Well, at times it is not my fault when these things come out of my vocal cavity. It is because of the knowledge. I have an overflow of knowledge that drains out copiously when I speak. Well, in any case, I think I'll have to go and sleep over this thing and then get you a report. And the report I'm going to get you, I want to be sure that it's a refined and a progressive report. So give me some time to go and sit diagonally and horizontally and get you a good report, sir. Please, the sooner, the better. Mm -hmm. Because I don't want to go to the land of the dead without making sure that this land is standing on a firm footing. As in that. Ibra, you make me very, very happy. In fact, what do you know about Brazil? Brazil? Yes, Brazil. Mm, nothing much. Only that um, it is a South American country. They speak Portuguese. Um, they are enriched in oil, just like Nigeria. But their major export is in football. Things I know already. I thought you would have given me things I don't know already. Well, I also heard that they have these buxom, beautiful lasses grooving around their street, flaunting their backsides. And in fact, any man who sets his eyes on their backside as it fluctuates and flaunts, he knees will buckle. That's what I hear. You didn't hear that. There are beautiful women everywhere. Since that's the preoccupation you have chosen for yourself. It's not my fault. She will not end well, you know. Look, I have a huge appetite for sex. It's not my fault. I have a huge intelligent level. Come out of your shell. Come, let us mingle. Let us mix. We are miscible. We can combine and then get ourselves happy. Do you understand? That is what I mean. In any case, well, uh, Brazil, uh, I will let you into the picture much, much later. Why I'm asking this question. Okay? Okay. Uh, you can now go and teach whatever you want to teach, but be coming close to me often. So. Good morning, Ma. Morning. I'm going. Ah, don't you eat before you go? No, Ma. I'm in charge of holding the morning assembly today and I don't want to be late. Don't worry, I'll eat when I get back in the afternoon. Oh. Hey, Ahmed. Sir. Please, can I employ the services of your hand uh, piece? Do you need it for anything? Oh, yes. There is a function I'm attending today and I want to present myself as very dignified. So I need to dazzle people. I need to bamboozle them. As a matter of fact, I need to rub or rouse them, if you don't mind. Please, be careful with it. Oh, Theophilus. Yes, yes, yes. I am now sitting before uh, the king of my kingdom. We are trying to put this together. In the same developmental project, I gave you a hint to another time about. Yes, I will get back to you as soon as we agree. Yes, I will get back to you. Thank you very much. He's uh, my uh, associates from uh, Brazil. Mm -hmm. uh, they are calling to inquire of um, how we have uh, gone, how far we have gone okay. in this conference. Because I gave them a hint earlier okay. that we are going to put our heads together and then get something out which I will give them. On that, they will stamp their feet and then begin to know how they are going to contribute in this our development yeah. in the very community. Yeah. You know. He used to be a very impeccable speaker, oh. very nice, intelligent human being. The person, that's Theophilus. Mm. Oh, very fine scholar. Well met in Cambridge. Uh -huh. Yes. I hear he's now the Council General of all the local government of Brazil. Hey. Hey. Yes. You know a lot of people. <laughs> oh, well, why not? You see, that is why Cambridge is there. People from four corners of the universe converge and conglomerate there to tap our brain waves. You see, when you go, you tap your own goodies yeah. and then you go back to your respective places or your respective places of abode and then you impart the knowledge in your community. Yeah. Like the kind of thing we are about to talk hey, about. Hey, yes. oh. hey. 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 This is the type of thing I want to hear. Yes. Hey. Your Highness, did I not tell you that when we begin to ask questions, 
We will get answers. Yes. Exactly. Everything we need is in this community. Yes. 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 My king, I think one little thing that is remaining is about um, the fiscal aspect of this budget, that is the economy. Mm -hmm. You know I have to make a lot of expenses and I will need money for that. Don't worry. Start to look at how to raise the money you are supposed to travel with. Mm -hmm. Just don't worry. Okay. The only question I want to ask is, are you ready to go and buy those things you talked about and bring your friends to come and help us? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Eze, if you are not, if not for the fact that you are sitting on this very throne as my Lord, spiritual and temporal, I would have regarded this as an insult to my intelligence. I am a son of this soil, a bona fide son of this soil. I would want to leave my footprints on the sand of time. If not, posterity, posterity will judge me from the ugly angle, oh. which is not good for my reputation. Huh? I am ready. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> we'll start looking at how to make the money that you are going to travel with. Thank you, eh? Highness. Thank you, Highness. Um, Ojako. Your Highness. Ojako. Your Highness. We'll arrange for the meeting of uh, all the elders and the youths. Hmm? If all of us start putting monies together, we'll be able to raise the money that we we'll we'll have to travel with. Oh, yes. yeah. eh? That is true. I have two plots of land at the way here. Mm -hmm. And I am ready to sell them out immediately. Your Highness, I'm impressed. With your magnanimity. Thank you. It is, it is not everybody that is sitting on the throne mm. that you dip hand into his pocket or even decide to sell some of his landed property. So I'm very, very impressed. The honorable assurance I'm going to give anybody who would like to sell any part of his property is I will deliver. Thank you. Your money will not be lost. Thank you very much. Professor is a big man. Hello, hello, hello. Come. How are you? Good afternoon. I want to inject some sweet nothings into your ear. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah. Hello, hello. Ah, Ambassador. How are you? Well, Ambassador, I'm still in the village. Who wants me? The president. Can't the president of Brazil leave me alone? I mean, you see, can't, she, can't he do without me? Okay, Ambassador, Ambassador, sorry, you want me to be in the construction. Now, who are the people handling that construction? Which uh, architectural group? Oh, from USA. America is good. They get good architects. It's all right, I will be there. No, 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 no. I will talk to you later because uh, right now I have a, a, a special creation from the Supreme Being sitting very close to me. In fact, as a matter of fact, I'm exuding the flux that comes out from her system. <laughs> it's all right, thank you. Okay. Oh, sorry, my dear, to keep you. That was the president of Brazil. You mean you know him? <laughs> you should ask whether they know me. You see, this man does not do anything without me. The person I was talking to on the phone is the ambassador. Our ambassador, Nigeria ambassador to Brazil. He keeps calling me, come leave Nigeria, come over to Brazil and do this and do this. You know, it's, uh, you know people in this village do not know me yet. Those are the people who understand my worth, my quality. Understand where, the actual of where I belong. Eh? You understand? Uh, do you like this phone? Yes, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> not so fast, not so fast. What will you say if I buy you a dozen of it? <laughs> I could get you a dozen of this if I go to Brazil. For me? Oh yes, if I go to Brazil, I can get a dozen for you. <laughs> Look, when Osofia Iukumere, Madu Diego Uwajimba, voices something out of his vocal cavity, in fact, it remains as sacrosanct as ever. If something gets concocted in my brain and transcends and I evaporate it, take it as good as what the preacher says 
on top of the pulpit. Sacrosanct and sacred. So if I say I'm going to get you 12 of this, will you have? <laughs> well, that depends on if you play game, you know, if you play ball, you know. Uh, I don't understand. Uh, don't tell me you don't understand. A grown-up girl like you, I mean, don't make me begin to think that you still have your feeding bottle close by, you know. I want us, you know, God has given you, created you on a Sunday and gave you essence of uh, some of uh, these qualities. I would like to harness those qualities. We go somewhere, you see me the way God created me and I see you the way God created you. When thank God, then it doesn't see us. Sir, I don't still understand what you're talking about. You don't understand. Who told you you don't understand? Listen, I will make you understand. Can't one dozen of this make you understand? This can open up your brain. Don't worry, when it comes. <laughs> by the way, where are, you, where are you proceeding to now? Mommy said to go and buy something for her. So that's why you're proceeding to now? See, you don't have anything to worry. Eh? You know the health center? Yes. Meet me in front of the health center when you finish with your mom. I will be perambulating up and down, you know, that health center until I see a figure as immaculate as you. Do you understand? And then we can go somewhere. You won't regret. You understand? Uh, uh, all right, go for your distance. I will be there. Look, that, this is a small one. <laughs> it doesn't it, you can be doing it like this. Two, two. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. Uh, uh. See what I mean? <laughs> oh yes, one down, many to go. We have therefore decided to send Wajimba Oswafia, the professor, to go to the uh, land of the white man and bring progress for our community. We were there when he talked to one of his white man friends and the man promised to buy things for us, to help us buy those things that we need to build roads, factories, bring water and build better schools for to, like, uh, so that our community will be like other communities. Uh, we cannot do that without money. We need money to send him to go to that land of the white men. <clears throat> One man cannot do it alone. We have to join our hands together and send him. Thank you. Our Igwe has started it off by selling his land at Ebelu and has given the money. Igwe! You are highly welcome. I want to ask you a question. How are we sure that Osofia will not go away with our money? <laughs> this is a very good question. Look, 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 look. This shows that <coughs> you are a homo sapien of narrow comprehension. Very narrow minded that you cannot decipher the negative from the positive. How can you propose such nonsense? I happen to come from this land. Um, is my wife not a bona fide daughter of this community? Why will I run away? Why will I vamos to? Why will I go to? Is it not to my glory and to the glory of everyone here if we have all this development in this community? Is it not to everybody's glory? So where will I go? Listen. Ladies and gentlemen, my promise is I will go and bring honor to this community. Thank you. Uh, that thank is you. my assurance. Thank you. You have all heard from the man yes. himself. He is the best we have in this community. Yes. yes. He will go and bring progress to us. So that we can all sit together and wipe away this cloud of backwardness from our faces together. Whatever you have to give, please give it for the development of this community. Remember, Awese here has started it all by selling his two plots of land and has given the money. Thank you. Don't you ever think that it's going to be an easy journey? No, 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 no. 
It's not going to be an easy journey. But I volunteered myself to go. I, it's fraught with many dangers. Yes. I am going to cross many rivers, many seas, many deserts. I am going to wade through darkness without a torchlight. I am going to stamp on pins and thorns. But I'm not daunted. I am so undaunted that I will go. The determination in my mind to progress this community is paramount to me. So, ladies and gentlemen, in spite of all these dangers, go away. That is our assurance. Agnes. Mm. You're washing. Yes, sir. Hey. Agnes, Sir? you are almost a member of this family. In fact, you are a member of this family. There's no gain saying that. <laughs> so there is nothing one can hide from you, you know, in this very family. Uh, like I hinted you earlier, I'm handing over the management of, of this school to you unofficially. Yes, I said unofficial because I know we have the assistant master and the second master and the other people. But unofficially, I know that you have a better brain than all of them put together. So I'm handing that one over to you. Okay. Uh, you know, like uh, you must have known, that uh, the community selected me to go and do some research, make some connections. In fact, make a general move, buy certain things required for the improvement of this community, development, to bring development to this community. And I've agreed. Looking around, I am one of those people who are qualified. In fact, the only person qualified around here who can do it. So I did not say no, and I chose Brazil for a reason. Um, the snag here is that I don't even have the slightest idea on uh, how to travel, how to get to that Brazil, or even how to make arrangement to begin to travel. Uh -uh. That's why I say I'm not hiding anything from you. I don't have an idea. Headmaster, I thought you said you had traveled to England before. Uh, yes, um, <coughs> but that was a long time ago. That was what I said. Next speed. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> I don't. Okay. Mm. Um, there's a travel agent that my family uses to arrange um, for our holiday trip. Okay. I will give you his number. When you get to Lagos, you call him. Okay, traveling agent. Okay. Yeah. So that he can help you and um, arrange for your passport and the trip. Okay. He, he will also give you a contact of somebody that will receive you when you get to Brazil. He will do that? Mm -hmm. You don't mean it. His job is normally smooth and he's a very thorough person. Smooth. Oh, Mamma mia! I have always known it behind my tympanum that the moment you set your limbs into this very vicinity, you are going to be one of my collaborators and coordinators hey. in this developmental project. I have always known it. I caught you. I caught you. You have started speaking all those, your big, big grammar again. Oh, we say no, no grammar. Yes. It's all right, no grammar. No more big, big grammars. <laughs> all right. Uh. I think what I will do is that when I get to Lagos, I'm going to buy a phone. Yes. Yeah. So I can contact him. Yeah, that would be nice. Thank you. Please, don't tell my wife that uh, you are the person who gave me advice. <laughs> <laughs> hey, headmaster. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
Professor, good afternoon, Professor. Good afternoon. <laughs> How are you? Where, where are you going to? Well, I am trying to parambulate around the village to issue an irrevocable mandamus to people, rustics, miserable rustics like you, who would like to play Christopher Columbus on my naturally endowed damsel while I'm away in Brazil. Professor, I, I don't understand, though. You will not understand, Njoko. But I am trying to issue a very stern and strong warning to you and your ilk who would like to put their dirty phalanges close to my wife while I'm away. I want to warn them that I have placed a special concoction on my wife. Yoruba has called it Magu or Magu or whatever it you call it. Huh? I have placed it on my wife so that anybody who does not like to keep his manhood between his thighs and goes close to my damsel will eventually call for the services of the mortuary attendant. Uh... Do you understand what I'm saying? Go near my wife, go six feet below. Thank you. I'm going to use you like native soap. I know you. So that's your worry. <laughs> no Brazilian girl is using me like any native soap. I'm just going there for research. Besides, there are no girls in Brazil. What we have are all fat old women. And when did that become a consideration for you? Anything that has a bottom and even one breast is okay for you. I know you. So that is why you place me. Look, Aduri, I may have been mischievous on one or two occasions. I may have done certain things wrong, I agree. But you have to give me some credit. I know what is wrong and what is right. You think I'll just go and begin to jump and leave the business I came to do? I'm just going to dare, dare to do what the community asked me to go and do. Yeah? Don't think like that. Your husband is not that sport. Now, listen, is it my automobile? Let nobody touch this, my baby. Nobody should not even clean it for me. Let me meet it the way I left it. Don't, don't worry. Nobody will touch your automobile. It's Beautiful. safe, okay? Thank you. Make sure you call me when you get to Lagos. So. I will. I will. So that I can talk to the um, agent. No, definitely I will. I will. Lose the number. I will not. You are, you are going to you are going to escort me. What is this, Raduri? I am not there. Take. Take it. I want to demobilize it. Demobilize it. I will keep it inside the cupboard. I'll get a bunker. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> I do, I don't like what you're doing. Look, okay, let me give you assurance. <laughs> wear me before I leave this place. When I come back, wear me again, you see, I will not even drop a centi kilometer or kilogram or whatever the case may be. Okay, and I'm, wear me. Do you think I'm such a bastard? Because Kaipo. That's the only you're worried, not even hunger. It is coming back in one piece. Uh, don't, if I come back in half, accept me. Ukraine as if they are going to sell me. I'll be back. Oga, where you say you they go safe? Have you lost your memory? I opened my vocal cavity and explained everything to you. I showed you the paper. What are you asking me? Okay. I told you I am going to Victoria Island. Oga, we are go 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 for Victoria Island. We are exactly the go for Victoria Island. Does Victoria Island have an annex or branch? <laughs> Why are you laughing? JJC. You be JJC. You be Johnny. You just the cop. You know say Victoria Island gets to it. Waiting the right for that paper waiting for your hand. Check them. Which street they write? What do you mean by which street? Did I not flash the paper across your face? Take and it. I told you specifically it's Victoria Island and uh, Ozum. Ozum Bambadiwe. So you know it. 
Why are you insulting me? May I help you to talk since? Did I not flush the, 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 the paper on your face? Okay. This one, the Lagos who... In fact, I cannot comprehend the tradition of taking a steaming cup of coffee under the blazing sun. Well, it is a tradition here, sir. But if you don't wish to drink it, the secretary can come and take it away. Better. Now, the more important thing first. You and I have to go to the passport office and we'll get the passport for you. And then we'll start processing your visa. Okay. All these things will take some time. I hope you have some money. <laughs> it looks like Agnes did not narrate my pedigree comprehensively to you. I am Osofia Ihukumere Madu Diego Uwajimba, Professor Emeritus Cambridge University. Professor Extraordinary and Plenipotentiary to Mbosi in Brazil. So money will not and will never be a problem to me. Good then. The sooner we get going, the better. Oh, the policy in your court. I have an agent in Sao Paulo who will welcome you and make your arrangement and booking. You can also stay with him until you get yourself. Oh, good, good. Good, if I can stay with him, that's... Uh... Well, it's all right. I mean, nothing stops us from going straight. Okay. Yes. The day by a rope around your mouth that you could not say no. Or did he drag you into the hotel that you have decided to bring disgrace to my name? Where is headmaster? Headmaster! Adugo! Adugo! Where is headmaster? Where is he? Where is headmaster? Where is your husband? Before you start asking for headmaster, I asked you a question. What is the matter? Let your husband show his face and carry his burden. Since he cannot keep that his two inch tennis inside his trouser, let him come and carry his burden. Which burden? This useless good for nothing girl <laughs> is pregnant. And she said that the headmaster, your husband, is responsible. Tears cannot stop me from leaving her here. She is now your co-wife. Adugo, I am not crying because of anything. I'm just crying because of the man I married. Did you see how you described him? How did you know the size of his penis? That means your daughter is not only the victim. Adile, you cannot talk like that. Did I tell a lie? Is it not true? Or you think I don't know? Stop crucifying your daughter. Both of you are the same. If you want to leave her here, go ahead. I'll take care of her. Or Sophia has come to Brazil. I'll take care of your daughter just like I would take care of every other girl that their mothers will bring. There is what, something what, fishy here. What for security what? risk? Where is your gate man? Holy moly. Who opened this door now? Oh. You don't know when people you have to run for safety all the time. Because of the trepidation people meet outside. Who opened? Where is the gate man? No, you don't need a gate man for this kind of gates. Why? 
this is an electrical gate. It works with remote control. See, this is the remote, okay? I'm not convinced yet. Before you convince somebody like me, who belongs to this academic gate alone, he has to take more than this. Somebody opened the gate without your knowledge and you're telling me. Okay, have a look at this. You see that? Watch. That's a good one. See. Queen Helen of Troy. This is made so, so that everything becomes easy for you. You don't have to stress about anything. I remember, you know, during my days in Cambridge, I thought we have disparity as the country oh. varies. I used to come across some of these things. Let's see, you know, it's closing again. Yes, yes. It's closing on its own. This is the remote control. You just press it, and that is all. I know, I okay. know. You know, I thought the thing varies as we move from no, no, geographical no, no. location to another. It's all the same. Uh, all really? The same. No, no. Electric gate. Yes. I'm used to it. <laughs> this is the garage. That's under the, the building. This is the garage. Yes, it's under the building. Yes. Just Garage. Garage. You know, you know at times, eh? <laughs> I'm used to all these things. I you know. Know. <laughs> okay, okay, so now we're gonna go up to the lift. Wonderful. Okay. okay. Somebody's going to lift us up. No, don't go to the lift. Okay, okay, yes. <laughs> yes, I know, I know, I know. Anybody to take us up? Oh no, this, this is taking us up. Hey. Yes, you can go. No, go in. No, go, go. Don't go, it's alright. Uh, I am uh, you well, you're my host. So yeah, it's alright. You okay, can go. Come right in, come right in. Don't okay. Forget. I know, I know. I know. Going to the eighth floor. That is it. No, 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 no. Fifth, don't worry, don't worry. I'm free. <laughs> You know, this is a kiss that I am I, so... I, I know. Yes, I like the fact that you accommodated me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's oh, a very wonderful. Don't, don't worry. It's, uh, it's just the lift. Uh, yes, the lift. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> no, I'm using it. Okay. I'm using it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. You're welcome, sir. Welcome. This is your abode? Oh, yeah, yeah. This is my little, um, <coughs> little house. Not so big. Did I hear you say little? Oh, that yeah. is blasphemy of the century. Really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Okay, please, uh, let's go into that. Uh... Okay, this is foreign news. Oh, yes. I remember Cambridge. Oh, oh by naked seats. <laughs> I see. All right, where do I keep my bag? Please, this way, this way. Oh, really? This way. Follow me. Yes. Oh, wonderful. Very wonderful. Okay. Come right in. This will be your room for now until we can secure a more uh, permanent accommodation for you. I see. See. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. This is good, oh my God. My is God. There a problem? On the contrary, solutions. <laughs> a lot of solutions on this bed. Listen, if I had had this bed down in Unforsey, Almost all the damn cells that were dangling their miserable weights around track, <laughs> track roads in Omfos would have one word or the other ended up in my bed. You see? You see, you see? I push it. It pushes me back. <laughs> that shows you the kind of sexual aura that surrounds this kind of bed. Because if I had had this bed, Banana and Agnes would have graced my bed. <laughs> 
I mean, he can't resist it because of the magnetic erotic flux that comes out of it. Oh, Agnes. Kabia. Who is Agnes? Is that your wife? My wife. Don't talk of that one. My wife Adure is something else. It's one of the headaches I have in this world. In fact, Adure is a stunt that I did that did not benefit me. For 15 years, I have labored on top of that woman and she refused to receive my seed of procreation. Why else is one married if there's nothing to say that these are your offsprings? Oh, but it's God that gives children. Oh yes, but you have to do your own bit. It is, it is. And look at vehicles moving in cascade. <laughs> it reminds me of Damn, damn, damn. Really? Oh yes. I see, I see. So, there is something that is still missing. I have not uh, seen your wife and your children. <laughs> they are still missing. Well, I am not married. Come again? Uh, I'm not married yet. I'm still single. Are you saying you are not married yet? Are you saying you are enjoying all this place, all this fantastic edifice? With this your tiny frame? I'm all alone. Not married yet. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Mm -hmm. Oh! Now let me feast my eyes. That's a nice uh, glass you have there. Oh, the glass? Yes. This isn't even the original one. Really? When I got to the airport back home, the custom people thought they were going to intimidate me. They broke the original. I made them pay. They bought this. Really? You cannot intimidate a professor, somebody on a professorial level like me, like Wajimba. <laughs> no, 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 no. I like, Nobody that. Eats me like that. <laughs> I like that. Please oh. let me get you some water. Yes, yes, yes. I will need it. <laughs> Even if you have something that is stronger and more amenable than water, <laughs> I will. <laughs> Sorry, sir. You need to on when you on this one. Mm -hmm. You need to turn on this one too to move the water. See, see. It's okay. Now. So you should have told me before. I'm, no, I'm sorry. I thought you. I thought you knew that was why I didn't bother uh, explaining to you, sir. It is not as if I don't know all these things. I know these things. They are very elementary things. No. But each one has a different design. Yes. I thought you only judge from single barrel. No, I didn't know it's same. double barrel. It's the same. I'm sorry, sir. Okay. I'm so you say it is. I open this one. Yes, and then you can mix it up with this one. But the way I, the, the way it is now is fine. You can bath like this. When you finish that, okay, you just close the tool. Okay, I oh. just close it. Yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, okay, this one is just alright. Alright, okay. Sir. Umbrellas. Yes. It's for just shade. No, just for shade. People sit oh. under them. You can rent here, rent your seat and sit down. What are those things up? Kites. Those ones, those are kites. Those are kites. Yeah. This is wonderful. Like I like I told you. 
be careful, please. For what? Every male erection is a punishable offense <laughs> under the law. I know you, that is what I'm saying. I know you. Be careful. Relax, I can control myself. Look, let me tell you. With all these naked women I'm seeing, you, I don't know. Why don't they give them instruction to close their nakedness so that you don't put people to the beach? Hey, look at women, you. all of them naked. <laughs> all of them naked. It's no bad. I thought you said it's a good job, not This is why I was warning you. Yes. Okay. It is not me you should tell. Tell God, with all these naked women around, do you think I can control my phalanges? Even if you cannot control your bloodstream, control what is between your time. It is uncontrollable, that's what I didn't create there. Okay, okay. You see, but because what I'm telling you is when my blood runs riot. So, oh, so look at these people. Beautiful people. Beautiful people. But what's it? What's it? Again? Botaji. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, oh, obrigado. 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 Hello. Ah. Uh, okay, you know what? Uh, uh, I need to hold this to you. Let me buy coconut. Uh, you want to back up or not? You see, I'm going Stay to here and only look around. No, 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 I'm even trying to cover my phallus because it's going to run right now. With all these temptations around me. If you are going to put let me, let me, let me leave this place now. I'm not putting you. Look at, look at all around me, the temptation. No. And you're telling me to resist my Let me cover it. Let, okay. God of Israel, God, can I control this? God, can I control this? Look at multiple temptation. Look at multiple temptation. Hello, hello, Botaj. I want to greet you. Thank you. Good afternoon. Beautiful girls. Fine, fine girls. Wajimbaiz enjoying himself. Wajimbaiz enjoying himself. <laughs> hey, you win, you win, you win. Oh, more temptations are coming. How do I help this? How do I help this? Oh, God. Oh, another temptation. They say that you people, your people are still giving me more temptations. Eh, but I like you all the same. You know, can we go out somewhere, you know? <laughs> I mean, people are everywhere. I can at least stand the rent with any other thing. Without any other thing, I would still be standing the rent. Yeah, but it doesn't necessarily mean oh, if I can. Oh, God, oh, we need this thing. You know, I like you. I like everything about you. Oh, count, count some less and then go. What is it? Oh, 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 I was sitting on my own thoroughfare when somebody coquettishly passed and you said I shouldn't look with that serendipity. She said, shut up. Shut up and speak English language. It wasn't was, my fault. It, it wasn't was. my fault. I was there on my own when she, she encouraged me as that I should touch her. So I blame you. And so what? Even if she said you, sh you, should, you should touch her, must it be in that beach? Must it be there? Let me tell you something. Look, I'm a highly respected man in this community. But in the Nigerian community here, if you do anything to tarnish my image, I will leave you to be on your own. And you know what that means to you? You've not even started discussing the business that brought you to Brazil, and here you are getting yourself into kinds of troubles. Leave Brazilian women alone. My friend, I am talking and you are, you are looking at another woman out there. Did you see the size of the waistline? It was the erotic flux that was coming out of the waistline that was getting me attracted. What kind of, what kind of human being are you? It's a reflex action when you see the kind of erotic frogs that come out of that very waist. It's very captivating. I see. I As see. somebody very of my own academic very standard. Soon.
Nain Joko. Good afternoon, no. Nain Joko. You people, you people are looking for who to kill. Who knows, if I talk to you now, I will, I, I will not turn into a cock. Eh? Since that thing in between your legs is too important to your husband, let him keep it. Njoku, Njoku, we will not fall for it. What is it? No, 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 no. It is not easy. There are arrangements to be made. There are a lot of things to be done. Arrangements to be made. There are people I still have to meet. Do you know, I never know that Madu Diego Wajimba is a very fantastic dignitary all over the world. You need to see how the president was scoring over me, trying to buy my attention. All of them wanted to do this thing. You know, they were all... Uh, 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 even the people walking on the street, and there are some damsels around here who are admiring me too. <laughs> Honestly. Oh, in this place it was splendor. Everybody was eager to lend one helping hand or another to make me comfortable. Yes, you know I have to use some diplomacy. We have to get myself involved in the diplomatic world. I mean, this is where I am now. I am here on a feasibility study. I will still have to go and meet some other embassies where I am going to get the people. Do you understand? I will still meet some people. I am still going to arrange. Even the president as it is now is trying to boycott all he is doing to give me a special attention because I am even going to receive a special award this evening. That's what I am telling you. And, wow, mama mia. Well, I will talk to you. Oh, damn, sir. You know, I saw you smile. Yeah. Yes, when I saw you as you're passing, you know, the thing just struck me that uh, this is, you know, your beauty. You look like an angel from St. James. Uh, okay. I have never been given this kind of smile. <laughs> you know, the moment you passed me and you smiled, it caught my brain. My brain caved in, uh -huh. honestly. 
and I say, who is the? You look like you came out on an eggshell. You're fantastic. You're fantabulous. You look so sensual, so beautiful. The symmetry, mm, perfect. You know, you look like simple eight. <laughs> no reduction, no addition. <laughs> I'm impressed. Oh, I hope one can touch you. Ah, you're very funny, huh? Oh. You speak English? Yes. Fantastic. And you sound very quincy. Well, I went to school in Cambridge. I mean, it's not my fault. You know, when you go through such a high standard school oh, like Cambridge, okay. you come out with some grandiloquent verbosity. Cambridge begins to move out of us. Oh. <laughs> well, let me start by introducing myself. I am Professor Madu Diego Wajimba. Professor Extraordinaire. Oh, you're very verbal. Well, <laughs> like I said, it's not my fault. It's all here, you know, in your tympani. In Cambridge, you absorb a lot so that you can distribute to the world. Can you give me the favor of wading into your time? And uh, your first time in Brazil? Oh, this is my first time in Brazil, but definitely not going to be my last time in Brazil. Yeah. Since I have seen this symmetry, <laughs> this is the beginning of the first times. <laughs> Wonderful. I hope I will not be asking too much if I say you do me the favor of uh, being my guard and my guide. Okay. Yes. And do you look for dancing, dinner? You are here. You are a guardian angel. God has sent you from above <laughs> to make me happy. Okay, let's go. <laughs> I, I, I hope you're not in a hurry. Yes, it's necessary. But... Let me take some. Time. I have money to squander. Okay. <laughs> As an go. ambassador. Ha! God works in mystery. <laughs> Oh, Agnes, uh, welcome. Thank you. How was it at school today? I know. It's just that it's so difficult putting something into the head of those children. Their mind seems to be somewhere else apart from what they came to school to do. <laughs> what do you expect? Where they have people like us talking what you want to change them. He called. He said I should tell you that uh, hunger nearly killed him. Hunger? <laughs> Don't they have food there? That is what they asked me to tell you. But the fact is that they are taking very good care of him. Though he said that what he went there to do is going to take him some time to achieve. And he said you should send a message across to the Igwe that he arrived safely. Mm, what else? What else? Okay. He said that uh, he's, he's facing a lot of challenges, achieving what he went there to do. But he's going to um, overcome the obstacles. I hope so too. Because a lot of stories have been following us off here at Owajimba. The other day, one woman came here. A woman he has been sleeping with came with her daughter and said that he made her pregnant. <laughs> Which of them? The woman or the daughter? The daughter. And I told her that the daughter has been learning from her. After all, it's where you pop and wine that the bees gather. I'm so sorry, Ma. No, don't be. I have learned to live with Osofia Wajimba. The day I get tired, I will go back to my father's house. After all, we don't have children that are binding us. Let me get you something to eat. No, don't worry. I will finish it myself. Oh, I just go and um, deliver the message to the Igwe. It's better. Let me fix the food myself. Oh. Yes, because all they will do to you is take your money, ruin your life, and leave you with nothing. No, 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 you are wrong. That's straight by butter. How can you think that somebody of my academic level, somebody who has reached the HR that I'm standing on now, could be intimidated by a male or not? That means that your brain is upside down. If not plasticine, then you won't be put in there. <laughs> Do you understand? Well, At my own standing, mm. I am qualified to dribble and rabble and rabble rouse any lady from both Brazil or any other part of the universe. I'm a professor, Professor Emeritus. 
<laughs> Oscar, these people are good. They are wonderful. It is straight by better. They give me, they take my money, they give me life. Life starts from the waste. Isn't it? You don't know? Well, keep giving them your wish. Oh, yes, oh, oh. Tell me of whispering. What did God do in Brazil that he refused to do in Africa? You gave the women from this very part all the endowment. What has Africa done to you? You have a question to answer. You have a way to answer. Whoa. I'm going to drink myself second. One will elevate my social standing. Ha! This must be a nice thing. And you know some things. See, Waiting the sweet to the body for the lay, my brother, you got to do so. Thousand dollars, you know that. It's only women you want. What are you doing? Ah. Jesus Christ, do you know what this is? Stop it! It's not alcohol, this is gross thing. Ah. You, you don't drink this. Ah. Oh my god. You want to buy? Oscar, it's where I was searching for happiness. Oh, you, you don't look for happiness by drinking chemical. Then you bring me a you supplement. Do things that will make me happy. Bring these people inside. Take that. Piece of paper to make me happy. Yes. Oscar, I need a piece of ass. Not a piece of paper. What is this? <laughs> well, that is a, a ticket for a football match. Football match? Yes. Corinthians is playing. With Santos, I'll take you to go and watch the match on Sunday. Why would Corinthians play with Santos? Corinthians should be playing with Thessalonica. I have read my Bible very well. As a student of theology and physiology, I have known, I know the level. Ah. Oh, sorry, sorry, take it easy. Well, in any case, if you say Corinthians are going to play with Thessalonica, you are right, but this Corinthians here is a football team. And then with Santos, so they are playing together. That is blasphemy. They should answer current, not Corinthian. <laughs> sorry, relax, relax, relax. I, uh, sorry. This in hurts. Yes, uh, uh, sorry, sorry. I think I need to get you some food to eat. Huh? Please get me something, get me something. What did you call the name again? Relax, relax, let me get you food to eat. What did you call the name of that? Corinthians and Santos. <laughs> it's like you have your brain between your thighs. The youth couple living in our house said that Osofio Wajimba called hmm? to tell us that he arrived safely. Oh my God. Eh? And that he's doing well. Oh, thank God. He also said I should tell you that what you sent him to do will take a little time. Okay. That no matter the suffering he's going through now, that he's going to succeed from Vossi and bring glory to the land. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I know he will succeed. I have always known your husband as a good man. He may have his little problems. But when he says to achieve something, he will do. I know he will succeed. Your Highness, they say that place is very hard. Though. He even said that he's almost dying of hunger. Oh my God. Uh, but he has enough money to buy any food he wants. Your Highness, if he uses the money meant for the job he was sent there to do, to eat, what is he going to use to do the job? He is a wise man. Any man that has sat on the same table with a white man is a wise man. He knows what to do. If he brings the development we seek in this land, our land will honor him. And the generations unborn will remember his name 
as the man who brought development in our land, even at the risk of his life. If we don't make money today, it's gonna be hell for us. <laughs> yeah, but I enjoy it. That's why I love going to the stadium, you know. So that you, yeah. the striker, the striker of the game. Uh, what is it? Let's go. I know that man. Which man? Let's go. It's a Okay, sis. Wajimba. Okay, Wajimba. No, it's a lie. Okay, sis. Also, you Wajimba. Okay, sis. What a minute. Are you the person I'm seeing here? Yeah, my yeah, my yeah. What are you doing in Brazil? You know, they sent me to come and do some feasibility studies and see what we can get from Brazil to develop our community. You know, pipe bomb water, electricity, and who else is more qualified than myself? So I had to come. You don't mean it. That means you must have had some money with you because I know you cannot go there to any errand if you don't of course, make it. Man, you know me, man. I can't go without money. This is where you hold off and you are just enjoying that. Do you know they were looking for you in the village? Everybody was looking for you in the village. You understand? Because no, wait a minute, let me tell you something. This place they don't call me your course. See, my name yeah. is Carlos. Your name is here. My name in this place is Carlos. Carlos? Yes. Because I know you are not that Carlos, but since we have taken that name, what you did to them in the village was Carlos anyway. <laughs> it doesn't matter the meaning, but just call me Carlos, please. That's what I tell the white girls, you know. Your wife? Munyewe. Munyewe. Kini kiena. Kau mwen jiezu ike tata. Oro bo lo kanshin. Hi. If you give me a name, you know, Hello. Hello. Kau mwen jiezu ike choku. Oh, we are chatting. 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 <laughs> oh, the one. Who was that? That was uh, my uh, a boy from my village. This guy collected money from village and then uh, ran. <laughs> I don't want to look at him. No, no, no. He's at this guy. He's at this guy. Mr. Sof, 
Yes. Uh, I'm set to go to work. I think uh, you should uh, get your things uh, prepared, put yourself together so that when I come back later on, I can uh, take it to the airport to fly back. Okay. Uh, meanwhile, everything you need uh, is in the kitchen. Okay. Uh, have a good day. Go well. I, I am pleased. There is a place. I'm going to this uh, vicinity. You know the place? What oh, beautiful? Can I enter now? So big, big grandma, you just to speak yo. Remember home on the top of key, I'm only fading no go. Remember say yes, there's things right. on you. I can't no change no be, I can't no be. My brother they check your time they go. Comment on it. Hello, who's there? Oh, what's in my you are here already. Where are your shoes? No, I let you know. God see demands that I leave my shoes. I mean, I'm Cambridge trained. <laughs> oh. But I can't remember telling you to come with your bags to my house. No, 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 no. That's a new development. Something came up that uh, was beyond me, so I had to take my swag. You know? Can you have one? Hi! Can you would the guy who was talking to me yesterday? Yes, 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 I, I, I was, I am. Carlos has told me everything about you. Really? I hope you did a thorough introduction there because I happen to be a Cambridge trained professor. Oh. Professor Emeritus. And I'm the Pro Vice Chancellor of Rufusi Community Middle Institution. <laughs> so you are just sitting there. Well, by the grace of God, I am uh, now on an ambassador extraordinaire and planning potentiary of Unvasi in Brazil. Wow, well, well, he told me everything. But he also told me you like me. Like you? That's an understatement of the century. I love you. Oh. I adore you. Oh. I cherish you. Oh. I ravish in you. In fact, right now, when we were coming down, I had a look at you and I was flummoxed at the kind of beauty you were exuding. 
honestly, everything about me now is vibrating, Ooh. including the fatness between my thighs. Oh. Believe you. <laughs> wow. So, what are you waiting for? No, 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 in fact, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> what are you guys doing? Okay, you have to check you into the hotel first so that you will do your actions there. Uh, you have her already with you. Yeah, give him some money so we can get a room. Yeah, no, 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 yes, you know, yeah, you know, we need to get prepared. Wow! Tell you what to do. A very beautiful, sensual, saucy, beautiful girl. Mm. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you are so sweet. You are wonderful. They are the one the one who is the one who is the one who is the yeah, we're gonna be with what I can see about Oh man. You know, seeing you is something. This is the only time I want to enjoy myself. Ah. Okay. What's that your name again? You you. Elisa. Elisa. <laughs> and you said you only is male. Mm. <laughs> beautiful and beautiful and this is beautiful. Elisa. <laughs> Oh God, I am going to show you what academia can do. You know, Professor Emeritus and Ambassador Extraordinaire and Plenty Potential. <laughs> Whoa, that's my baby. So, you see what I mean? You see what I mean? That is my. Oh. Who? Headmaster? <laughs> that lecherous old man.
Excuse me, sir. What sort of irresponsible behavior is this? Agnes, what is the matter? If you cannot keep your private inside your trousers, you should at least look for matured women and not minors. Hey, hey, there is a little girl here that said that she's pregnant and that you're responsible. Pregnant? Yes, pregnant. Who said that? Pregnant for? Where's who? Hello? Hello? Don't give me that nonsense. Don't give me that nonsense. Listen, what are you talking about? You brought the girl to dance at the logo on top of me, a professor of my own standing, and you think you can play with my intelligence? It is not going to work. Let me have my money. Which money are you talking about? How much is it? Don't pretend you do not know that you give me plan to take my twenty thousand. Twenty thousand dollars. Twenty thousand dollars. Don't pretend as if you do not know. No wonder she's She's the, look at the line now. It's not going. No wonder she switched off her phone. Forget, leave this in the, Give me my money and get this, this girl here. But I'm, she's not picking up her calls. What do you want me to do about it? Look, please get, 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 get here. Okay, let's do one thing. We are not going to bother over this, okay? I know where to get her. Just give me some time. I will change my clothes. Let me go and dress up. I will help you to get the money back. Let me look for her. Okay, let, let me go and change my clothes. I will go with go you. Go and change your clothes. I'm going to your house to get that. I'll be right back, okay? Let me dress up. I'm coming now, okay? Play on me like this. Twenty thousand dollars. If you think you can play intelligence of somebody of my own academic level, it's not going to work for you. Let's go. That godforsaken of to come and play this kind of a trick. On somebody and I guess like this. I know they finish for your mouth. What in the sweet the podgy for Bele, my brother, you got to know. Thousand dollars, you know that. It's only women you won't get. Yeah. If you get the old. Let that dog not near me. Let that let that dog near me. Are you mad? Why? I said I will soon kick this neck. You miserable blood sucking vixen. Oh, what's the problem with my dog? I do not want your dog. I'm, I'm going to kick this dog too. Tell them go, 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 go away. Dog, my dog is innocent. Your dog is innocent. I don't care whether it's innocent or silver. Remove this dog. Are you alright? Of course, I'm removing this. If they come close to me, I'm going to kick them. Look at you. You miserable blood sucking vixen. That's what all of you do here. So come and see a man that you sent to early grave. It is not me. Madu Diego Wajimba. Bring those shine here again now. I'll kick them for you. And I'll get one of you, all of you. If I get that girl with my money, I will show example in Brazil before I leave. Get an Even if you are going for hunting, when you're not doing anything with them. You go overseas, woman. You know they take I see. That's so so big, big grandma. You just to speak you. Oh, oh, oh. Remember home. Oh my oh, God. God.
What will I tell them? What will I say happen to all the money? How am I going to explain this? What is this? That, that I came here. And I was so senseless that I was stupid. What is wrong with you, Wajimba? Say you be professor, and you know some senators. Like no they finish for your mouth. All the time you were dancing on top of me, I never knew you had an extra plan. How can I get this girl? God, help Madu Diego Wajimba to get this girl. I'm finished, I'm finished. I'm dead, I'm done. What will I do? Am I going to get stranded in this city? I'm finished. I am gone. Puto. Finished. Why will I allow myself to be played this way? Bom dia, você quer um café? Um café, por favor? Oh, it's you! You don't be being like to disturb you. No, 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 come, 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 sit down. Who wouldn't like to be disturbed by a beautiful girl, a pretty girl like you? Disturb me, you're beautiful. Did you recognize me? Have we met before? Yes. Uh, I was the parky. You're the girl at the park. Yes. The girl with the dog. Yes, I was with my dog. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. You know what happened was that yesterday I was flabbergasted. Oh, what happened? You see, uh, even though you, you understand English very well. My English is limited. Your English is limited? Yeah. No, 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 we can always commune whether it's limited. Your beauty takes charge of uh, the rest. Oh, thank you. Okay. You see that yesterday, I took a girl that was introduced to me to a hotel, and the girl made away with three quarters of my economy. Could you imagine? Oh. Uh, well, I don't know whether she's a person to but a friend introduced her to me. I hope you're not one of them. Uh, no, 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 no. So what do you do? I am a TV reporter. You're a TV reporter? Yeah. Beautiful. I love people of the media. I tango with them. Oh, very oh, cool. I think we can go together very, very well. Tell me about yourself. Well, there is nothing much to be told. Right now, I'm so miserable, I'm so downcast. There is nothing I can do. I don't have a home. Do you don't have home? What home do I have? Do Are you living on the street? I will go be going around the street, that's it. It's unfortunate, but that's what I, I will do. Oh. Let's go my home when we finish our call. We can go to your house? Yes, let's go. That is beautiful. You are an angel. <laughs> It's like God sent you to come Let's go to Chaoke. Beautiful. Oh. Fantastic. Okay, drink up. Let us go. You know, that yesterday, I hope you're not angry that yesterday, the way I treated you and your dogs. And you know I'm sorry about this. Let's go to the finish for your mother. Wait in the sweet to the budget for the lemon, my brother, you got to know. Thousand dollars, you know that it's only women you want get. Yeah. If you get to the other, you're so fair. If you get to the other, you're so fair. 
Sofia de Ozu Diego Guado Samale Okay, I won't forget it again. Let's go. All right, beautiful. Wow. Oh. All right, all right. I have to you. Oh. This is a policy. No, well, it is not, but uh, it's all right. It's all right. Okay, it's okay. Well, it's okay. Okay. Single. Well, single girl. Please. Sit down. <laughs> All right. Uh, what did you come to do here in Brazil? Oh yeah, like I told you a little bit in the car. Uh, I came to attract investment. My people are very are still developing. So why we need uh, some of these uh, big things, investment, you know, in our area, and I've seen if I can attract bourgeois, you know, tycoons. Oh, yeah. I don't understand the big words. Okay, well, it's not my fault. Well, let me mellow down on my big words, <laughs> but you don't blame me, you know, I haven't come from uh, Cambridge. Or this Cambridge? Oh, yes, you, PhD Cambridge. You went to Cambridge? Oh, yes, PhD Cambridge. Oh. That's why you see all this grandiloquent verbosity coming out of my mouth, you know. Are you from Africa? Yes, I'm from Africa, from Nigeria, precisely. Oh, Nigeria! I'm going to take you to Nigeria. I would like to meet the soccer player. Oh, we have a lot of soccer players. We have, uh, you know, Jeju Okocha, we have uh, Karen Wango, or Sazo Demwenge. There are a lot of them, lots and lots of them. You know, who would you like to see? I would like to meet the Keno, the oh. soccer player. Oh, Keno Wango. Yeah. Beautiful. I will take you to Kano's place. You see Kano's house? You see Kano's mother, you see Kano's father, you see Kano, where Kano was born. I'm going to tell you everything about Kano, the wife and the offsprings and even the grandfather. Oh, would you like to drink something? Oh yes, yes, on deco. Yeah, anything. Uh, anything. Cold water. Yes, that's a very good name. Uh, thank you, comfortable uh, yourself. I will take a shower and change the clothes. <laughs> Paloma! Paloma! Oops! Sorry, Eduarda. Are you no, thinking no, no, Paloma? No, 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 no. It was a slip of tongue. You understand oh. what I mean? You know, it is you that I have all the affections for. Are you liking Paloma? No. You know, w one thing about Paloma is, um, what I like about Paloma is that uh, she's very open. You know, you see how she come, she will hold my waist. You know, she will do like this. And that's the only thing. As for my affection, it's for my beautiful oh, Eduarda. You are my best friend. That is what, for you to tell me to come to your house, you think it's easy. Now, I'm going to show you that I trust you so much okay okay now that, you know i told you they took my money but oh. small is remaining i want to bring that small and give to you to keep for me okay to tell you how much i trust you <laughs> oh. see what i mean about you how can they tell me they haven't seen my phone? I didn't go to any other restaurant but theirs. And I'm sure I left that phone there. So these people have thieves here too. Oh my god. 
probably this girl will be phoning me now and there's no way I can answer. Can I treat this please? I think that's the only option left. Can I get that o que aconteceu que ele não atende? Ai, eu tô preocupada. I have a flight to catch. to see you because I was getting worried about Professor Osofia Wajimba. It has taken three months since we last heard from him. We do not know whether he's alive or dead. We sent him out, and we should be responsible to find out what is happening to him and let his family know. Uh, Your Highness, his family is constantly in communication with him. Huh? Yes. Hmm? They should. Tell us what is happening or has happened to him. 
Did I not speak yes. up when we were about to send him out? I said we, sh we should send somebody else. And we, in fact, we, we won't allow him to go anywhere. Did I not say all these things? Uh, my friend, will you close your mouth? Huh? Yes. If we had not sent him out, we would not have had the hope of any development in this community. Uh, yes. <laughs> when I said we should not send him out, rather let's get somebody else. Did you people hear me? Because I know that the man is very, very fraudulent. And he was going to run away with our money. Yeah. <laughs> now you have sent him to Ebodo Ibo. He has run away with our money. Who is going to account for it now? Oh. Who is there to go and know what he has done with our money? I, I, I wonder. What, what I happened wonder. to you? Your own son ran away with the community's money. <laughs> what happened to him? My yes. son. Yes. Take let your me, time. Let I me ask you. Why would he money? run away with your money? Why would he run away and leave his wife behind? <laughs> wife! <laughs> As if you don't know, Professor. What? Let me ask you. Have women finished in Obodoibo? When he gets to Brazil, there are very, very fine young girls. Young, young, young things that can fire a man's blood. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Anytime they talk about women, you get up. Yeah. Fire, 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 yeah, fire, 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 fire. Let me tell you. Yes. You don't know that Professor has put a no climb ban huh. on the wife. How do you know? How do you know? Uh -huh. How do you know? Did you go there? How do you know? Pium, pium, pium. Go and try. Your Highness, I don't think it is time or we have any reason whatsoever to get worried as yet. Professor is a man to be trusted. <laughs> he has gone to a place none of us could have gone. He has risked his life for our development. So what we have to do is to wait. When he's true with what we have sent him to do, he will report to us. Putting money for them. Oh my God! So this is another way of making money. <laughs> God knows I will not die of hunger.
into problem. That is this thing. I ran into some problem. Ah, is that why you came on the TV? That's what you do. I needed some money. I have to have some money. That's the thing. Why are you embarrassing me in this country? Why? It's a long story, Oscar. No! Oscar, it is a long story, I'll tell you. Just take me somewhere now. If, when I tell you exactly the conglomerate of, 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 of the pressure that's on me, the weight of that very pressure, you'll pity me. You just let, left the house. Let like us go. I will explain. Let's go. Your Highness, I greet you. Headmaster. Yes, you go, Professor Osofia Uwajimba. Your Highness. The lion that swallowed the tiger. Our pride and glory. Your Highness, I go too. You're welcome. I bow and tremble. You have done noble. Thank you, Your Highness. Igwe, I have gone and I have come back. You're welcome. When you people, we were talking about going on this journey, on this voyage, little did we know, including myself, the quantity, the quantum of difficulties and the dust that is going to be gathered in this very journey. We did not envisage the number of problems or the amount of problems encountered, but it is all well and good. But determination led me all through. All the people I met were so gaga about my coming. <laughs> they helped me. There are some of my friends there who were paramount to the achievement that is going to come to this community. And let me, because I'm so anxious to drop the goodies, in a few weeks' time, some of those colleagues whom I gave huge amount of money, some of the money you people give to me, I had to give them. They did not even, the money wasn't even enough. Some of them said, don't even give me money because of the connection from Cambridge. <laughs> so in a few weeks' time, they are going to come from Brazil to this UFOS community Yay. to kick off the projects of electricity, Yay. the pipe bond water, Yay. and in fact, particularly about the pipe bond water, because this means that one doesn't need to go to the stream again. You just open, you don't even need to take your cup to the pot. Even if it is your bedroom, wherever, you just use your left hand, open the tap, and water will flow. <laughs> What I've been talking about. <laughs> what are you talking about? You should hide your face in shame. <laughs> did you not oppose his going there? He did. did. you not? Keep quiet and allow the professor to land. Talk professor, talk to us. Please. I think we have to forgive mm. even those who are talking from the other side of their mouth. Yes. <laughs> we have to allow because this is a good thing, Igwe. Yes. Igwe, these boys were wonderful. As soon as I came out of uh, the car, from that uh, motor park at one gate, they were carrying me shoulder high. They refused my entering a motorcycle. Yes. They said, and my foot will not touch the ground. So they carried me and said, we have to go to Eze first. Right. So courtesy of them, that's why I was riding shoulder high <laughs> <laughs> to your place. So they did well. That's wonderful. That's good. Mm. Thank you very much. You have done well. <laughs> we cannot stand here and listen to all the details please go back to your various homes let us allow him to have rest hmm? 
well, then we can converge later to listen to all the details. Hmm? Please, I give you my blessings. Professor, even though we have asked you to go, you have to come in and take, even if it is a cup of water. Hmm. Well, I would say no. I'm so eager to go and see my people. You see, if, is it, that place is so wonderful. Do you know that all they are dancing, the electric, everywhere, all the roads, huh? electric people hanging on, on, on trees. Electric. You know, yes. See people, see the streets, everything, every, everybody busy, huh? cars moving up and down, up and I was so impressed. You know, it has been long I went to Obdoibo last. Yes. This one, Brazil, was something else. Hey. It's a lot of improvement. Hey. I met their president, Pele Oscar Paloma. Paloma. He was very gaga about. Look, mm -hmm. I'm going to I'm going to organize a cross visit, one of these days, okay. for us to cross visit. Mm -hmm. He was so wonderful, he was so interested in what we are doing and all that and all that. They are let me not <laughs> let me not the princess is here. Let me not talk about their women because it's something else. <laughs> Professor, yes. we can't stand here and listen to all this. Let us go in like a tape. It, it's all right, it's all right. No, it is the way the thing is coming to me. I'm so eager to let it go. You know. All right, you go. Yes, hey, the day is bright. What are you going to give me if I give you what you I brought back? You don't know, nothing goes for nothing. You give me what you want, I give you what I brought back. Look, I've already told you, I've been telling you what I want. Come, you know, that's what is going to happen. We just stay somewhere, we discuss, you know, we exchange, you know, love. I told you I'm very good in the love department, you know. <laughs> Come to my house, there's no point where you are a princess, I can't take you. No, 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 no. My wife, I'm going to send my wife out. Let my wife go on an errand so that we can have enough time to chat. You understand what I'm saying? No, 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 the afternoon. Are you going to come? To, to, I will. Come in the afternoon, I'll send my wife tomorrow. Eh? Okay. <laughs> to surprise you. Yeah, that's my wife. <laughs> yes. I thought you would never come home. Hey, yes. Welcome. <laughs> yes. Oh. There is oh. something different about your personnel. I hope you're not allowing these boys in this village play Christopher Columbus or your physiognomy. <laughs> I hope that. <laughs> How was Brazil? Brazil was wonderful. Brazil is fantabulous. Brazil is fantastic. I miss you, you know that? <laughs> oh, that's my wife. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, I close your ears. I get to see you back. After how many months? <laughs> well, it's all right, it depends on what. Don't worry, I'm going to fix them. On the same people, on the same judicial echelon. Good morning, Uncle. Hello, damsel. Wrong. Very wrong. You have to address me properly. I am Ihukumere Madu Diegu Uwajimba, Professor Emeritus, Cambridge University. And recently I have been elevated into the 
enviable height of an ambassador extraordinary and plenipotentiary representing Mvosi community in Brazil. So how are you? I'm fine, Ambassador. Thank you. Looking at you, I could deduce that God has showered some endowments in you, which could be harnessed by a proper technician, I mean biological technician like me. And I wouldn't mind if uh, we tango very well to put you as one of the living baggages that I'm going to take to Brazil. When are you going back, sir? Very soon. In fact, they are trying to put up a structure. They are trying to restructure and construct an edifice for me, very close to the Globe Television. And Globe happens to be one of the biggest structures in Latin America. So you will take me there? Oh yes, it depends on how you are going to play your game. Because I would want this kind of harnessing. I would want to explore. I would want to excavate the innermost pendulum of your heart emotionally and the God-given crevice which you have got physically. I, I can't wait, I can't Oh, you concur. Very good, you see, you are a very brainy girl. You know there are people God creates with two brains. One in the cavity of their skull, the other one below, in between their thighs. And God has given you triple brain. Now jump in, let us go and explore our innermost cavity. I will show you that God has endowed me with a, a phallus without conscience. <laughs> you see, no, already you are in Brazil. Champion lover, super professor. Obrigado, students. Oh, sorry, 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 my mistake. There is no way in history that you can ever or will ever know what obrigado means except I impart it on you, on to you. Now, when I say obrigado, you say obrigada, which means good morning, sir. The first one, obrigado, students, that's good morning, students. Your reply, obrigada. Good morning, sir. Now, students, obrigado. Obrigada. Excellent. Wonderful. Wonderful. I'm impressed. Highly. I'm impressed of the superlative order. It is the words that I have acquired from Brazil. As you know, I have not been around with you for quite some time. I journeyed. I traveled. I transported to go and upgrade and update and polish and brush up my academic ability. And I went to Brazil and I came with abundant swag of knowledge. Yes. So right now that I am standing before you, I am no longer Cambridge Limited. I have gone universal. I have the knowledge, the academic system of the Latin America. I have the academic system of Brazil. I have the academic system of Central America, North and East America, all combined into this country. Thank you. Thank you for acknowledging and recognizing that I have moved higher the academic echelon. Now, from now on, I will want to impart such knowledge to you so that you become elevated student from Mbosi Primary School, from Mbosi Primary School. So that when you are speaking, where your supposedly mates are, they will not know the grandiloquent verbosity that might be coming out of your vocal cavity. Okay? So, you are going to be the beneficiary. Those of you 
who has some pigments still running through their brain. I will impart this so that when they call a student from Umvas, a primary school, you will have been elevated to the next academic echelon. You are no longer talking the same language with the rustics from the other side. Because the original instructor, Professor Emeritus, has come back from Brazil with knowledge, not with love. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Uh, where is uh, Mary Jane? Who's on the man? What is troubling you irregular and uncounted for vixen? Why are you wriggling yourself as if you are a bloated python? Now, transport yourself to my established office right now with immediate alacrity. Good. And stop puckering your face. Brighten it because the day is bright. Do you understand? Now, students, obrigado. Obrigada. Obrigado. 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 Obrigado, students. Obrigado. I say obrigado. Obrigado. Thank you. You to my office. So, what are we supposed to do today? English. So, can everybody bring out your textbooks? You are an unqualified nincompoop. In fact, you are uncut, unnurtured, dignified idiot. You know, when an idiot gets dignified, the idiot has been shot out of the range of idiocy. person becomes an idiotic fool. Look at you, I thought you had your brain on your head. I never knew you had your brain between your thighs. How can you go and tell people that you're pregnant? Why didn't you wait for me until I come back? So I didn't know you were going to come back. I didn't even know you would come back. And my mother has started noticing some changes. Some changes from blue to black or from yellow to indigo. Which one is your mother noticing? Why don't you tell your mother you don't know who is responsible for it? That's what I told her. But she started beating me that she wants to find out the spirit that pregnanted me. <laughs> and you named me as a spirit. Yes, I told her. I am the spirit. Yes, I, but I told you it's not good. That we should not do it. But you, you insisted. What is not good? The spirit, or the action, or the reaction? Yeah. Were you not opening your legs and throwing your legs every which way, making places available for me? <laughs> and you are now telling me you said it was not good. You were the person who was so eager arise, beat, kill, and work when it was on. This name is not good. And you have to malign my name. Do you know what you call it? Calumny. That is what you have done. Well, in any case, um, I think I still have solution to the whole thing being a professor. Uh, I think we'll have to continue this exercise for a while. You know, so that uh, that is the only way to get this unwanted fetus out of your system. Frequency. Consistency. S are you sure? Listen, I'm a professor of academia. And academia encompasses a lot of things, including biology, including medical things, including human anatomy, including women's physiognomy. So when I talk, I talk like an authority. So. By the time we go, I know exactly what I'm carrying between my legs. Surgical blade. So, maybe after two or three, uh, you know, exercise, you know, I will knock it off. But, you have to, have to start immediately. After school, we we'll go to our usual place where we meet and then, uh, you know, let's see whether if I cannot work with my brain or with my hands, let's see whether my fellows can do wonders. Okay? Are you sure? Yes, look, I've told you, as, as uh, somebody who is a professor, I know what I'm talking. Well, if all come to naught, if it gets too serious, I'll take you to Brazil. 
You think it's a Brazil? Oh yes, I'm certainly there. You know, I'm already settling in Brazil and erecting a very big edifice, a mansion for me. And I have a very smart boy. It's you know, Professor the house for Oscar. Oscar. Very smart. Champion Nova, you know, Super uh, Professor. Uh, 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 okay. okay. You're smiling. You were crying then. <laughs> <laughs> That's my guy. Champion Nova, Super Professor. Champion Nova, Super Connector. Champion Nova, Super Professor. I think you should stop, sir, because I really want to talk to you. Yeah, <clears throat> I'm all ears. I hope you not get angry. No, 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 no. Get angry for what? You say you wanted to talk, so talk. I think you should change your lifestyle. Hmm? Yes. How? Life is not all about skirts or the people you try to impress. Life is not all about how many women you've slept with or the ones you're trying to sleep with. If you continue this way, you'll bring grief to yourself and that's long-suffering woman, woman you kept in the house. You, you, you have too much potential to do good. And there is this good man inside of you crying to come out. You have these children in your school who are looking up to you for, for guidance and direction. When you die tomorrow, what would they remember you for? The headmaster who gave them an opportunity in life to achieve something? Or the one who taught them how to make love and go after women and men at their tender age? Well, Agnes. Sir. You are absolutely right. You're perfectly correct. We're talking about my getting angry. I don't have a cause to get angry. Because what you have said is correct. But another fact is that there is nothing I can do about these things. These things happen. Even when I don't want them to happen, they do happen. At times I don't control them. People have to understand that at times there are certain things that are unshakable. What mm. do I do? I'm only a human being. Change the way you think and you change what you do. And you think that is going to change everything or anything? Lot. Agnes. Sir. Three women are pregnant for me. The community sent me on a business in Brazil with a lot of money. Because of the women or involvement, my involvement with women, the money was lost. It was squandered. I own up. Now, I have gone to the Ugwe in council and I told them that I have succeeded which is not a fact. In these circumstances, what do I do? What? Concerning your trip to Brazil, honestly, I do not know what you're going to do. As for the three women who are pregnant for you, it's either you look for a way to marry them or you make an arrangement with their parents on how to take care of them until they they give birth. <laughs> I mean, you should start cleaning up your mess. Because a man without integrity and moral values is not a man at all. Mm. All right. <clears throat> Agnes, I'll start clearing my mess. But unfortunately, this mess comes in heaps. Sometimes there's a kind of mess that you can clear. But I'm happy all the same. 
Your advice is good, so time shall tell. What will I start to rectify these things? I have to do a lot of lies. Is it the fact that I said I went to Cambridge instead of telling them that I went to teacher training college in Okbanam? Is it that one? Or is it the fact that I told them I've been to white man's country before when I have not stepped out of the shores of this country? Or is it the fact that the money they give to me to travel to Brazil has been squandered on women. Also, if you were Jimba, where will you start? How can you explain this? I am doomed, I'm ruined. What will I do? God, please tell me what to do. In fact, tell me what to do now. If not, <laughs> uh, I'll come to you soon. things I would um, like to tell you. Even though it is so heavy, I don't know how to say it. Our hero, say it anyhow. Yes. It's all right with us. Mm -hmm. Well, it is not that a good news or it's not good news. And uh, it's uh, more or less a confession I want to make. Uh, really? I don't know how to start. But uh, I will have to say it anyhow. I have told you people a lot of lies hmm? in the past. Yes. Prof! Uh, that is one of the lies. I have never been a professor. I am not a professor. Hmm? Yes, I'm just using it to boost my my ego. Please, what did you, if you are not a prof, what did you, you go to Cambridge to do if you didn't get a PA? <laughs> it's that is another lie. Yeah. So I have never left this country. I ended in TTC in Obanam. That was where I got. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. Being a native doctor. What do you Do anything you want to do to me. I'm not surprised. Do you know? I felt so frustrated that I was even trying to come to Atulabaji to give me a part of the medicine, the one he used in killing his rich brothers. I can drink it and die. But uh, you are now talking about uh, the lies of uh, being a professor and all that. That is even small. But let me make this confession all, all, all the same. I have done a lot of unworthy things. In fact, I'm not worthy to be a son of this, this uh, 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 soil. I'm not a professor. I haven't gone to Cambridge. I said it! I said it! I said that all this big grammar is a cover for something that is wrong. Now we keep you keep quiet. Let the man finish. Let the man finish. Finish with that. Keep quiet. Allow him finish. Nah, Joko. That the grammar is even small part of it. You know, you people gave me some money to go and plan on how to bring developmental projects to this community. Yes. 
um, I have to tell you people now that uh, that money was, in fact, it was my 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 fault. It was more or less wasted because uh, when I landed in in Brazil, I told you a lot of lies about all the connections I've made on all those things. I did some, but most of the money I used on I never knew that Brazilians are beautiful women. So one of the women even took away some of the money. Wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> Are you telling us that we contributed money and sent you to Brazil for you to go and sleep with Brazilian women? No, some percentage of it. You can't run away from these things. I'm a man and they left my wife. The urge was too much, so I had people who were introducing Okay, me. okay, okay, okay. What does their private part look like? Hey. Huh? I'm so surprised that uh, you are still interested in such things at this your age. Well, I the private part, I did not examine very well. If I had known that you would be interested, probably I would have even taken... You are the person interested, not me! Okay. Right, so the, the seriousness with which you are asking me the question. Uh, that money was squandered. It, hey. see, I am not worthy to stay before you and I'm going to take all these things. I own up. I own up. I think this was a political behavior. Is it? This man should be tied to a stake and we burn him to death with slow fire. In yes. Or we. Way... In Joko, in Joko, wait. Just cool your temper. Hey. Hey. Okay. Okay. My elders. Is it? My highness. Is it? I have had the man. Yes. There is nothing more to say. The water is already spilled and the calabash broken. Even if we say, let us go to the stream, there is nothing to fish the water with. But Sophia, Your Highness, you will return all the money we gave to you first, before we decide on what to do to you. And we will also write petition to the community school authority and they will remove you from being the, the headmaster of the school. Yes. A man as unworthy as you are is not supposed to be teaching our children. No. We give you three weeks to pay back the money. Elders, I hope I'm speaking the mind of everybody. Hey. 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 You see, I sold my two lands. The only inheritance my father gave me so that this man will go to Oburo uh, to Brazil to go and sleep with their the, the women. Eh? Eh? Is it? No. What I'm suggesting is that he should be tied to a stake now and we bore him to death with slow fire. No, 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 no. no, no, eh? no or we banish him from this no, town. No, no, don't worry. Don't worry. Look at it. Now, in Joko, I've even thought of that. I even wanted to burn myself before I come and present in this case. I saw your son in uh, Brazil. Uh, yes, he's an area boy. <laughs> but I tried to see if I could advise him. In the first instance, let me continue all these confessions. I went to Brazil. I chose Brazil because of vengeance. You know, when we were growing up and in school, of course, you see, your son uh, wasn't as bright as some of us. The money my father gave to you. Uh -huh. You know, that was the money he stole and then ran to Brazil. I know about it. Thank you very much. So I, I now had to choose Brazil for vengeance because he debarred me from going to the Cambridge and all those things. And now the pathetic condition I saw him there, I couldn't even demand the money again. He was even the person who introduced me to some of these women. They had them in chains. So I don't know whether you could tell Arthur Obaji to do a concoction to bring him home. He's wasting. Uh, Oko Sisi, yes. No, he doesn't even answer Oko Sisi there. I think he was uh, one botanical name. Uh, uh, Oscar or Carlos. Hmm? Yes, because he saw Carlos there. I think he's even a predicate son there. Uh, yes. So, not my son. <laughs> yes, so <laughs> I'm not trying to give you the information. <coughs> I know that all of us here must have in one way or the other. 
tempted our image, maybe in the past, asking for forgiveness. Because I have wronged you. I'm a prodigal before you said is it. But I am begging that you should use your good office. All of us here know that we have some some uh, skeleton in our cupboard. There are certain. Shut up your mouth. And the cupboard is going to be in there. In the cupboard skeleton. What skeleton are you talking about? Okay, Igwe okay. is uh, like your own skeleton. I'm not trying to cast aspersion on you, but I know that if you search our consciences, we have made some mistakes in the past. Is it? If I should remind, remember the rumor uh, that uh, you know when you were coming up, you were you know. Uh, going to people's farm and then uh, taking their uh, cocoa yam and selling it cheap in the market. <laughs> but people forgive you. That's why I am pleading. We even heard that you were carrying uh, uh, their cheeks or chicken with impunity and that you were winning a part of you, you were collecting their goods. In fact, but people forgive you. And then you are sitting like an innocent man on that road. Why won't it get to me? Oh, it's okay. It's, uh, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, it's, all, it's, it's, all right. it's 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 all right. Because... Hey! Oh, I want that focus. Uh, please, please, see what I'm doing. I'm going to bring your son. I'm going to bring your son. I'm going to bring your son. After everything I heard today, forget I was ever your wife. I'm going to my father's house. They'll make arrangement and return your bright price. Thank you very much. Ma, please, please, please. Don't worry. Go. Yourself, eh? Do you want to kill yourself? Agnes, where have I gone wrong? I did all you advised me to do. I went there, I confessed my misdeeds before them. Look what this thing has gotten me into. Where have I gone wrong for kingdom's sake? My wife had gone. Now I'm to pay $40,000. Where will I get $40,000 now to pay? And you say I shouldn't get worried. Stop you from eating. Eh? Do you want to die? Okay, let's go inside. Let me get you something to eat. Food is, food is the least thing that, I, that is on my mind Just now. Try food it's food is the least. Just a little. Headmaster! Headmaster! You did this to me. He goes like you. You're an idiot. You pregnanted my, my daughter. Headmaster. You have been singing all along. I have told you people that you cannot get. You people have been shouting in my ear. And I've been taking it. Now take your daughter home. Please. Headmaster, don't you. I think you have a wife. Eh? Why do you do this to me? Are you a you goat? Are you an idiot? Look at this man. I am. All of you want to partake in me because I am the only elevated figure. Highly elevated in this community. Everybody wants a piece of me. You cannot have it. I know your plans. Let me tell you. So take your daughter home. Let Head me master. tell you. Headmaster. Headmaster. You are a he goat. No. You are an idiot. Yes. You are a stupid man. For doing this. You are a he goat. Headmaster. I can see you have acquired much money. To get more wife for, for yourself. <laughs> it's me that you marry you. She me. is pregnant. Come on, shut up. She is pregnant for you. Take her. Headmaster, 
Since no. what you know is how to throw away our community money on women, maybe you should throw away some of it on this young wife. I'm sure she's your responsibility. <laughs> Go away, I beg. <laughs> you see. Please. No, Biam. No, no. Biam, fight. <laughs> Won't you go and follow your mother? Eh? You marry me. No, no, you promise me. Thank God you are back. I brought her here before, but your wife was talking rubbish. Now that you are back from Brazil, I brought your new wife home to you. God bless you. What are these ones? You promise me that you marry me. Promise I love you. Okay. Take this one. Hey, one of you take the leg. Hey, 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 what is happening? What is happening? Hey, what is happening? Hey, what is this is so you. Hey, hey. 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 Good morning, students. Good morning, students. No, 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 no. When somebody says good morning, student, from now on, say good morning, sir, or good morning, ma, or good morning, auntie, as the case may be. My brigada remains for me. Do you understand? Yes, sir. As you might have uh, known soon. Well, let me just inform you that soon I will be leaving you people here. You will have a new headmaster. And I don't want you. Who is giggling? And I don't want you to be using Obrigada, Obrigado for any new headmaster or any person. Just come on courtesy. Good morning and then good morning. You give your good morning back. Do you understand me? Yes, sir. Uh-huh. Now, students, good morning, students. Students, good morning. Good morning, Gada. Now, I want to hear you properly. Students, good morning. So, you're still daft. I thought you had improved. 
So your brain is still as stale as it is. I just left simple instruction. Or do you want me to give you the last lashes? All of you, before I leave. Good morning, sir. Huh? No, sir. Then good morning, students. Good morning, sir. Good morning, students. Good morning, sir. Thank you. That is better. Like I told you, the person you are going to have is the headmaster. I still remain the instructor. The inspector of schools is here to see you. He's in your office and he wants to see you right now. Really? Yes, sir. Here now? Yes, sir. Uh, excuse me, student. Excuse me. You see, it's in the office. Yes, sir. Good day, madam. Good day. <sighs> You're welcome, ma'am. Thank you. Are you Mr. Osofia Uwajimwa, the headmaster of this school? Yes, madam, I am. We received petition from the community concerning your activities, both in the community and in the school. Me? And we have carried out our investigations. What we found out was truly appalling. Without consulting me, madam, I, I thought I should have been heard. The ministry has instructed that you should be removed from this school immediately. To what school, madam? Nowhere. From now on, you are on suspension, pending your summary dismissal. I am to take over the running of this school until a substantive headmaster is appointed. You'll be lucky if you get away without a trial and a jail time. People like you are a disgrace to the community and educational system. Champion lover, super professor. Onya ono kurama, onya ono beri beri. Woman desire, super connector. Onya ono sugar, onya ono beri beri. Champion lover, super professor. Onya ono kurama, onya ono beri beri. Champion lover, super connector. Onya ono sugar, onya ono beri beri. Champion lover, super professor. Onya ono kurama. Romantic teacher, fire desire. Onyo ku sugar, onyo ku bere bere. Onyo ku sugar, onyo ku bere bere. Onyo ano grama, onyo ano bere bere. Onyo ano grama, onyo ano bere bere. Onyo ku sugar, onyo ku bere bere. Baby, you got my professor. Onyo ano grama. Baby, forgot professor, on you who sugar. You took a professor, on your no grammar. Baby, forgot my professor, on you who sugar. On your no grammar, on your no grammar. They give me just two weeks to pay back the money. If not, they are going to kill me. Eduarda, please don't think that this is a joke. They are very, very serious. Because this is the hard-earned money of the poor people of this community. If they issue such a threat, they will carry it out. 
definitely. Please, Eduarda, please, in the name of God, help me. Help me as a friend, just as a friend. I'm in trouble, please. And God will bless you if you do.
Good afternoon, Yacha. Good afternoon. Yeah, please, I'm from Brazil and I'm looking for Igwe El Sofia. So, can you take me to see him, please? Uh, yes, I can. But the El Sofia that I know is not an Igwe. And the Igwe that I know is not El Sofia. Igwe is Igwe. El Sofia is El Sofia. No, oh, he is the king of the eastern part of Nigeria. Ha! El Sofia Wajimba. When will lies finish from your mouth? Uh, Onyocha, the Osofia that we know here is a teacher that we sent to go and buy things for us from Brazil. And he went there and squandered all our money on women. And now he has only one week, one week to pay us back. Please, he's the one I'm looking for. So please, can you take me to him? Hey! Mr. Wai, you can't have a problem with that. That's not in the media, sir. No, no, it's not. Um, I'm not going to be here in the end of the day. I'm not going to be here in the end of the day. I'm not going to be here in the end of the day. I'm not going to be here in the end of the day. I'm not going to be here in the end of the day. I'm not going to be here in the end of the day. I'm not going to be here in the end of the day. Mr. Wadrock, enter this one. Oh, okay. Enter this one. This is the house. This is the house? Yes. He told me it was a palace. Okay. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Do you speak English? Yes. Is there any problem? <laughs> Not exactly, but I'm looking for the King of Sofia. Mm. Who are you? My name is Paloma and I'm from Brazil. I got a letter from His Highness and I've come to see him. Concerning what? Last time he left very suddenly when he was in Brazil. So I have something that belongs to him. Besides, I really want to see him. Uh, um, I do not think that this is the right time for you to see him, honestly. Because he's been going through a lot. He's been having a lot of problems recently. I know, he told me in the letter he wrote. That's why I'm here. Oh, what? Your Highness? Hello. Sophia! I'm here, baby! I'm here! I missed you so much! I got you. Are you his wife? I hope he didn't dupe you. <laughs> no, actually, he gave me some money to hold for him. Like $20,000. Eh? Yeah? Yes, and he told me all the trouble he has been going through, so I brought the money for him. Money? Yes. Brought the money? I am nothing. I'm not your highness. I'm not even a professor. Oh. I'm sorry I told you a lot of lies. I'm sorry. It doesn't matter to me, okay? It doesn't matter to me. You will always be my own highness. You have made mistakes. We all make mistakes. 
Let us go and correct them. How much is your money? Uh, it's a uh, hundred and three. That's three hundred. Okay, three hundred for three. Uh, Beto, is she or Sophia's name? If you want me to No, she's not. Let me get your money. some money and it is necessary that you register them in an antenatal clinic so they can get some medical care. A pregnant woman should be taken care of and the children they are carrying are yours, remember? Then we will all go with you and beg your wife to come back home. There is nothing that cannot be remedied. Agnes here will take me to Lagos so we can, with the help of these references, begin to pursue the water project. I'm sure with Oscar's help, something positive will come out. I will talk to my dad. He was a minister and he knows whom to reach. What I'm thinking, why don't I take this money that you have brought back and return it to Igwe and the Igwe Council? Don't you think it's better? You will, but not immediately. You will return the money when you have secured the projects because, you know, there are bills to be paid and the things you will need money for. And whatever you spend from there, I will cover it. You will? Yes, I will. Paloma, I am miffed, I am bereft of words. Because all this magnanimity, you have been showering on me. <laughs> I can't explain it. It's part of the fact that I told you a whole lot of lies. I mean, you threw me into a situation where I can't even comprehend why you're doing this good. This is some man who has been bad, who has told you a lot of lies, and this is what you're doing for me. Well, I'm miffed. Let's just say, if you knew better, you wouldn't have lied. And I believe that. There's too much wisdom and too much knowledge inside your head to be wasted on things that are not important, like holding grudges. But how do I pay you back? You see, that is what troubles me. I am miffed. How do I pay you back? Well, you can pay me back, maybe, when you become uh, the president of this great country. <laughs> president? Well, it's funny, but it's not a... Uh, well, who knows? I may even who be knows? the president. <laughs> thank you very much. Palomo, thank you immensely for all the help that you are rendering. Well, I will say that I am queen behind you, the two of you now, because the way it is now, I'm like a dummy. The people are taking somewhere to remedy or to sanitize this system that God has given me. So, Igwe, you see, when all this hulabalu was on, and people were saying, hang him, crucify him, I kept my cool because I know I was articulating through my superficial sentimentality. <laughs> So I had no fear, and I was going ahead. The projects that I was asked to go and plan for and execute is on course. I told uh, some of you. It's on course. As a matter of fact, the electricity project, I had to communicate and relate and coordinate with the PTDF, which is a branch or fragment or department of the government in charge of developmental projects in developing communities. I have connections. 
I have people that were bourgeois, men of timber and caliber, that work with me. Good. Instead of worrying the villagers because of the misconception that have been embedded in your minds, I decided to work alone. So that Mvosi pipe burn water is on course. Good. As a matter of fact, as I'm talking to you now, I think it was a, it's a, this morning, this morning, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this morning, it is going to be signed. Very good. good. <laughs> and they are going to connect from Obo Hill, which is the mother pipe, from where we are going to tap our own. So in the next few days, you will see people digging gutters where we are going to lay our pipes Wonderful. to bring pipe born water to this blessed community. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, you see, I am a man of my words. My word is like the word that comes out from the mouth of the bishop on top of the pulpit. The bishop can make mistake outside, but on top of the pulpit, what he said is sacrosanct, is sacred. And that is the kind of word that comes out of the body of this academia. I, Osofia Ihukumere, Madu Diego Uwajimba, Professor Emeritus, Ambassador Extraordinary and Plenty Potential, makes a promise. I fulfill it. Even though some miscreants among us, hungry looking, miserable miscreants, had the audacity and the tenacity and the temerity to point their dirty fingers at an academic guru like myself. I absorbed it because I know what the end point is going to be. So, Igwe, please, can I have that? Uh, I remember some time ago, some people were hankering for the money they contributed. And some of them are in fact dead to use their miserable fingers to point an, to an academia like me, who has attained the highest echelon in the academic kingdom. Well, I decided not to do anything or to ignore them. This is the first time, if not in this community, if not in this country, that somebody is sent to execute a project and he brought back change. <laughs> so, Igwe, this is the balance of the money you people give to me. I said, in my own magnanimity, I'm going to bring it to show people that the example, good example is good. Yes. Thank you, Igwe. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes. So, uh, Igwe, that is the change, like I said. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Prof, I have to hand this money back to you. Just continue where you stopped. Make sure you supervise the project and make sure everything is well executed. Good. Well, Igwe, I will just assume. That is it. That My money, you Again? Your money. Close what? your mouth. You try it again? Close your mouth. Peace, ho, hunger speaks. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You are not ashamed. Well, Igwe, unfortunately, like somebody who has traveled far and wide, I know that hunger is very inimical to nature. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there are people that hunger affects their brain. We do not crucify them. We allow them, we carry them along. But we have to keep them where they belong, which is at the rear rank. Now, this glory goes to me, I agree. But the more glory will go to my partner here, who is a guru, like I explained before, who made sure that she left all the serene and sentimental env env environment in Brazil to come and help us execute this project. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you very much. You're welcome. And sitting next to her is a face some of you who are interested in academia must have seen. I left to do this job for the community. And when I left Mvosi, day primary school, somebody was there to fill my, the, the hole. And she 
was the person who was controlling both the pupils and the teachers of Mvosidei Primary School. The last but definitely not the least is my wife here. Without our support and without her controlling my home and controlling the person that controls the school, I don't think these things would have happened because I would have been in turmoil. Yes, you're right. I'm all over here. I came home, Igwe, there was a kind of uh, persiflage you threw at me yeah. on one occasion that I should distribute what I came from, with, from Brazil. Well, I had to give the first dose to my wife and I gave her double dose. <laughs> yes, if she had not taken care of myself and the person I introduced before, I don't think this project would have taken off because she took care of my home and took it comfortably well. Uh, why I refer to her as double engine is that if you dissect or dimate or open up, you will see that inside her, I came back from Brazil, Igwe, it was you, who said I should do give to everybody what I came to Brazil with. I gave my wife a double dose, and that's what she's carrying. <laughs> some people hunt with double barrel, some hunt with single barrel. I hunt with triple barrel. <laughs> In fact, I hunt, I hunt with pump action. Igwe, thank you very much, yes, and I salute all of you. You have done, and uh, your wife's uh, double, double, double barrier. Yes, Igwe. Calls for uh, double celebration. Thank you, Igwe. I concur. Your highness. Your highness. Plan for some, some people that will go and uh, arrange for the wine. Oh, the, the eh? is already so that we so that we celebrate. <laughs> eh? oh, yeah. we, have... we have. Why is he saying? What will you take? What 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 liquor? What alcohol? Well, what alcohol or not? What liquor? I already know her own uh, liquor. Okay. Don't worry, let them go. I will whisper into their ears. <laughs> <laughs> What do you mean? Like, what do you mean? Look, we, we, have, we have a messenger here. You have no, no, no. What do you have for this messenger? If no. I think these two human beings yes. should live for us. They will get sent. Don't worry. 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 Tell the girl say you be professor And you know some senators Like no they finish for your mouth Nah, 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 nah Wait in the sweet to the party for Belay My brother, you got to know Thousand dollars, you know that It's only women you want